How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Very well. It's been a crazy couple of days. Good it's crazy. Okay. I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Here, let's see. At six thirty-nine. Looks like Monday over there. When roll call. Chairperson McBee. Here. Commissioner Hinojosa. Here. Commissioner Ebert. Here. We have a quorum. Here. We have right. one citizen. That's a pretty dress, Miss Patty. I feel underdressed now. All right, everybody stand for the lunch. I pledge allegiance to this flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Citizen participation. We have one person signed up. Nick, is it Babic? Babic? Yes, sir. I'm here about. Would you have to speak um, when your item is up? Yes, okay. That'll be better for you? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. That was at 6.40. We'll go ahead and close that at 6.41. I know, but... Uh, that was just citizens. I know. I'd go out to a minute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Approval of previous minutes. A regular meeting for September 13th, 2022. I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes. I'll second the motion. We have a motion to approve the previous minutes and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. 6A, public hearing. A, public hearing on a variance to the building code section 150.16 to waive the requirement of the installation of automatic sprinkler system in A, 30056 square foot suite in a commercial building located at NCB 10596 block one lot E, 292.67 feet of five, otherwise known as 4758 Seguin Road, City of Kirby, Bear County, Texas, 78219. Hmm? Is this for the public hearing? Mm -hmm. Is there any one person who would like to speak? You don't get to speak during that item. So. Nobody? Nobody? For this item. For A, yeah. yeah. Six B. A request to allow the property located at CB five nine zero three lot nine, otherwise known as thirty eight fourteen Ackerman Road, Kirby, Texas seven eight two nine, which is zoned single family de dwelling district R one to be rezoned as multiple family dwelling district R2 property. Anybody, public hearing? Nope. Can you close that at 6.43 also? Discussion and possible action 7A. Discussion and possible action on a variance to the building code section 150.16 to waive the requirement of the installation of an automatic sprinkler system in a 3,056 square foot suite in a commercial building located at NCB 
10596 block one lot E 292.6 feet of five. <clears throat> Otherwise known as 4758 Seguin Road, City of Kirby, Bear County, Texas, 78219. Good evening, Council. Uh, my name is Dick Babic. I'm here to talk about the property at 4758 Seguin Road. Uh, it's been known as a bar since 1970. Uh, for the largest amount of time, it's been called the Poor House. And it was located in San Antonio. So I bought this business in 2013 and immediately discovered uh, I needed to do some renovations and close the place down. And then we had some uh, personal issues and money issues and then COVID. So we never had the money to get it back up. Then to top everything, the city line, Kirby city line moved. And so now we were in Kirby. So I always had a CFO from San Antonio. And now I have to get one from Kirby. In San Antonio, the sprinkler uh, fire suppression system requirement is that you need one if you're 5,000 square feet and above. And at the moment, Kirby is two and a half thousand square feet. So that automatically uh, puts me in a position of having to spend over another hundred thousand dollars on a sprinkler system or fire suppression system that I didn't have to because a line, a city line moved. And uh, the hardship on this is like I, I have to compete with people in this area. Uh, for example, the, the ladies bar that opened up in the area is on Ritterman and their square footage is 4,900 square feet and they didn't need a sprinkler system. In other words, they got it up for 100,000 plus less than what I would have to do to build this up again. Uh, it's not even building, it's just like clean up and painting. Oh, no. I, I don't... I don't think it's uh, uh, right that just because a line moves that uh, I have to spend a hundred thousand dollars more. And uh, I'm asking for a variance. I think it should be uh, grandfathered in, as it's uh, been a bar since there there since the 1970s. And uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Unless any other um, members of the committee have a discussion, I'd like to make a motion to approve a variance to the building code section 150.16 to waive the requirement of the installation of an automatic sprinkler system in a 3,056 square foot suite in a commercial building located at NCB 10596 block one lot E 292.67 feet of five, otherwise known as 4758 Seguin Road, City of Kirby, Bear County, Texas 78219. I'll make a motion to second. Okay, we have a motion to approve the variance for to waive the requirement of the installation of automatic of an automatic sprinkler system in a three thousand five hundred six square foot suite in a commercial building located at forty seven fifty eight Seguin Road, City Kirby, Bear County, Texas seven eight two one nine. Roll call. Commissioner Aye. Commissioner Ebert. Aye. Chairperson McBee? No. Okay, so this, um, it's either all or none. So it doesn't, it doesn't pass. Okay. 
Motion filled. It has to be three votes. Seven B, a request to allow the pro property located at CB five nine zero three lot nine, otherwise known as thirty eight fourteen Ackerman Road, Kirby, Texas seven eight two one nine, which is zoned single family dwelling district R one to be rezoned as multiple family dwelling district R two property. So the applicant is not able to attend tonight's meeting due to the council meeting on Thursday. The problem is that everybody's his name. He had applied maybe a little over a year ago mm -hmm. for exactly the same thing, but on a separate lot. The young Just gentleman? So now he's bought in a different lot? Well, is it the, know, did we approve the other We approved the, the council approved the other one? Is he going to build the other ones? Is this adjacent to it? Is it adjacent to the same other property also? Or is it? I can't remember exactly where it was located. I don't recall city council approving that one. I thought they denied it, right? I don't they know. They approved it. Yeah. I could have sworn they denied it. I thought, didn't he come twice? I, I only oh, remember seeing the kid once. He had one plan and then he got denied or something and he came again with a different one? No? No, I, I think city council, Um, I, I attended that meeting and but, I don't think Mike that they approved it. Can we ask Mike? I'm just trying to figure out if they, approved, like, if they approved his property last time on Ackerman. They did. They did. Yeah. Okay. Because he's, he's already in the planning process for the property. I'm curious what the total sales price or what the total build price was. I mean, was it oh, yes, four units? It, yeah. Got it. But it's going to be like a four unit, right? Yes. Yeah, the condition is in here. Oh, I was thinking it was two different properties. I'm sorry. It's all one. Okay, so he's back again. Same property. Got it. Yeah. The, the, about six yeah, that was the one that was denied on on Old Seguin Road. Okay. Road. I wonder why we denied it. Um, interest for the fire department. Correct. It's fair. Mm -hmm. And traffic. Well. Mm -hmm. Six trash cars, pick, trash pickup, and stuff like that. They couldn't take it to the curb. This one will have sufficient ingress and ingress for emergency services. I mean, you guys know how I feel about it. I love the idea. I mean, I think it's more tax revenue. I mean, our streets, I mean, it, the more people that we can get into the how many square miles with a small little chunk of land we have, I think I'm all for it. They are. And I think he's taking, I mean, I think he's utilizing them to a great thing. Can the fire department speak on it? Like, is there enough space for them to get into all four units? Yeah. Then I don't see why not. I'll make a motion to approve. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll make a motion. Two, two duplexes, right? It's two duplexes. Two duplexes of four units. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, two duplexes. I mean, that looks awesome. Oh, no, I, I see four, right? Right, it's two duplexes, so I think four units total. Two and two. <coughs> like this is one, and this is two, and this is three. Mm -hmm. so one is so we, has, yes. One, one has, a, um, has the house at the front. At the front. Oh, sorry. Where is this the house? I think these are all, so. either this is it right here, the first one, and then one, two, three, four, or this is the burden of the house, and it's these are behind it. I know he said originally it, they were going to be up front. His main house yeah, is going to be up front. His main house is up front, and then the four will be behind it. Yeah. I'll second, I'll second the motion. We have a motion and a second to approve the rezoning for 3814 Ackerman Road from a R1 to a R2. Correct. Roll call. Uh, Commissioner Eber? Aye. Commissioner Hanabosa? Aye. Yes. Patty, can we maybe flip C and D? To go ahead and take care of the officers and then go to the comprehensive plan. Seven D. We'll skip C and we'll come back to C. Seven D. Discussion of possible action of electing officers for the planning and zoning commission for a term ending August 30, 31st, twenty twenty three. Of course, Patty is secretary. We have to vote for you? I nominate Patty for secretary. <laughs> we have to nominate you to be the secretary? Wait, I mean, yeah, I second. Takes <laughs> three, three, eight votes. Oh, my lordy. Oh, I will agree to that. Yep. Um. <laughs> And um, at the end of my term in um, don't you say September it. of 2023, is that correct, Patty? I, I terminate. I believe so. Yeah. So I will not be renewing my term. You're not renewing. Mm -mm. Okay. So well, in September of 2023. Right. Mm -hmm. We we know that'll be here before we know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. So I think uh, you know, chairperson, vice chairperson would be. Um, Didn't I hear that we and had a new member or chair didn't we get a new commissioner i had heard from someone no Righty then i know i nominated oh i nominate him for chairperson mm -hmm. going into the next term <laughs> <laughs> i mean i would love to nominate julie can i nominate julie I'm, no, no I won't. She won't accept the nomination. Yeah. I guess I accept. Or vice chair. Okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we're gonna on chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who nominated Clay? Alex. You nominated Clay. Mm -hmm. Who seconded? I'll second it. Do we have a vote? On. Um, Favor say aye. 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 So enthused. <laughs> okay, now vice chair. I nominate Alex. I'll second it. You accept the nomination? Yes. All in favor say aye. All in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Can we go have a party? <laughs> so
So then if we lose our other member, or well, hopefully by then somebody will fill in. Can we even put a vote in? I mean, can we even? No. We need three people for a vote. And there's only two of us now. As of next Whoops. year. I mean, I get there's it to 2023. We're going on year like four or three. And it's been the three amigos. I'm positive. I mean, I'm being positive. <laughs> all right, I'm all right, all right. Saying. I don't know if we just Let's run them go off on to what, back to seven C discussion and possible action on comprehensive plan. So I was looking at the Dallas comprehensive plan today, and I know we're not Dallas, but one thing that I did recognize or that I thought was logical that they're doing right now is they're opening up to the public to provide their recommendations for their comprehensive plan. And they're also pushing towards the urban development also, but I think if we could open up to the citizens for, I don't know, until January or February for their input, I think it wouldn't be a terrible idea. Could we do something like that? I, yeah. them to our meeting. I mean, I think- Our that, meetings are public anytime that we have them on the agenda. I think that would be good. Well, yeah, I mean, they kind of already are. I know, but if they know that we're about to, I don't know how much we really advertise that we're about to go through comprehensive planning again, and then we don't have to bounce around ideas for the year. I think if we just do it in one session and maybe we started at 5.30 that session or something. That way it's not so late. I don't know about 5.30, but maybe to 6. I'm, that's, I'm, that's pushing 6 30. It I'm just thinking like as far as 6. I don't know if 6.30 is too late for people to come if it's in their dinner. I, I can make 6.30. It's better for me and my schedule. I just didn't know if we'd have a better turnout if we did 6 or 5.30. Because mm -hmm. 5.30 would be hard for me to make. It's hard for me. I mean, I was late. How late was I today? It'll probably just. <laughs> I mean, traffic was dark there. Better leaving it at 6.30. That Ritamin's no joke. Okay, um, I just thought that that was something. I mean, maybe we can ask city staff or I um, don't to, I um, don't not promote it, but to put it out there that to I, have citizens yeah. input for this. Could I put like a little graphic together for the city Facebook page, like just like a little flyer, like we're looking for input? I don't know if that's opening up the can of arms or something, but okay. I mean, the only input is, input I wanted to add. Or it's the same thing I had last year, but I would love to see a splash pad one day at the park, at Friendship Park. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hate having to drive all the way down to Hemisphere. I think that would bring in a lot of positive, you know, activity into Kirby, and it's relatively inexpensive. They shut it off during this time of the year, obviously, but... Uh, and during the other parts of the year, I mean, I, I just went to a charter school event that they had there. They had fold out tables from all these different schools that rented it out. And they had, uh, they're constantly doing events down there. Every holiday, they have like a little dance in the park. And it's literally just a little patch of grass in between areas. So, I mean, I feel like it's something that we could do for little to no expense, but maybe I'm wrong. I think. I'm no, wrong. I mean, that would be good to be able to utilize more space at Friendship Park to have something right. like that. Right. And do we want to? I mean, I think I added it in the year before. I think so our too, five year plan. Remember, like, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think it could definitely be a good use. Of that I had it, space. I and aside from that, I mean, I still would like to see us start knocking items off of our drainage plan study. Because it was supposed to be in the five year goal and yeah. it's not there right i, don't, I didn't see it yeah because i have it written down I bring my comprehensive plan today i because i have i have it written down from last year's or the year before that the splash pad at hugo when i looked over the comprehensive plan at the house i didn't see it as a line item in there but, but it's not in the current one but it's in, what I have written down for in the five year goal is item number eight. So I guess it didn't get put in or did it. All right. 
to swap them. Put it back in the five-year goal? I would like to see it in the five-year goal, yes. Okay. And then also in the five-year goal, I'd like to add in, uh, when's our next drainage study? I know we just did one last year, so probably not another five years, right? Five years. I think it's like seven years. It's some random number, but I, I think if we... I mean, I think we should do even a one-year plan, add in a reassessment of the drainage study to the road study. We're about to start Ackerman, right? And then after that, the other spot that was like the worst affected is over off. Of, man, I wish I would have brought it with me this time. Because here the, we have that in the five-year goal the, to develop an assessment and a maintenance plan. Has anybody come up with a, any sort of plan yet for the drainage issues to – to get stuff fixed the one spot that's the worst is right over in front of the middle school or the, that's i can't think of the street off the top of my head peppermint yeah that's the, one of the worst hit areas the where the side. woman has yeah. it pump in her yard like the, year round because it's in here from last year so i'm just curious if anything's come of it now that we have the information has anybody sat down to make a plan to get stuff taken care of if, if they are i'm not aware okay yeah so we we might maybe move that to the one year to get that going we because, do, uh, I mean, what's the point of having this all that assessment done and nothing's come of it? And not just that, if we're going to be spending all this money and that, I mean, I 100 percent agree. But I mean, to add to it, I think if we're going to spend all this money on road work before addressing all the drainage issues, we're going to be having to do road work sooner than later again because the, the water's just going to tear. Yeah, the just going to sit there. And, but I don't know. I don't remember where Ackerman rated in the. Drainage plan. Well, I would thought we were going to be able to use some of the COVID money towards water drainage situation, the 900000 or whatever that we got from the COVID money. I thought we determined we could use that for water, like drainage type there's, of situation. There's restrictions on how we can use it. Right. I know the council already made a list. I don't have that list. That's okay. Right. right. I feel like one of the either mayor or someone mentioned one of the meetings that we could use it for drainage at one point or drain like water related situations. I feel like that would be a solid thing to use it for, but I'll ask council. Yeah, but, uh, uh, but if, but if you haven't seen any kind of plan for the drainage, I mean, but see, I'm, I'm not privy to that information. Unfortunately, I don't have, I don't, get involved with the city engineer right. and that type of development and stuff, but I can certainly inquire about it. I would like to do a workshop with the with um, the city council. Like if we could schedule it for like March, could we do it in March? Like a workshop to plan what streets and what off the drainage assessment and which ones that they should focus on fixing like with the zipper mission or whatever next on the roads. Well, if you want, you, this, you can make a recommendation. Well, what I had asked for was, or I had asked, I think it was Monique, the list from uh, the city, the city, whoever gets the calls from the citizens on which roads they feel are the worst, you know, condition. And they said that there's a running list that I think, who do they say keeps that running list? It's, it's the public, list. public works. Right. It's a public list. Could we get like the updated copy on it maybe? But it's on a, it's on a board. It's, there's not a paper copy of it. take pictures of it, I guess. For you talking about like for potholes and stuff, or are right. you talking about right? But this is I'm talking about the drainage plan. I have the drainage plan at home. I have yeah. got that one. That's why that she's that's what right. she's saying. She's not privy to that's, the drainage stuff. That's the old one. I mean, that's the, the last one. Right. As far as but upcoming stuff, I don't know. Well, I'm just curious if they've made a maintenance plan. It says to develop a maintenance plan in the five years goal. If it's in development. I'm just I'm just asking if you know if anybody if there's we spent the money to have it done. Oh no, I don't believe we have. That's what I'm saying. If we spent I mean, if it's something that's gonna be done, it's probably gonna have a draft internal and then move it forward from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm asking instead of since we have it since we have it like item four, we had it done, part of it done. Let's move the other part to the one year goal to have a plan. I agree. Developed. Hi, how are you? I think this is the gentleman from Ackerman. 
Is there any other parts of the Thank plan you that you think we need to adjust, uh, redo or recommend? I mean, those were the key pieces that I really. Uh, I think was. Okay, so there's the current. I don't understand. In the meeting minutes, we had this number two. Uh, I we mm -hmm. talked about an, an adjustment there, but that that actually means already what is there. It's the purpose of the one year goal is to promote maintenance, and it says promote maintenance of city infrastructure by providing planning and zoning, but providing all committees. Maybe that's what the changes. Yeah, we okay. changed to all committees okay. for reports. And call all committees and then answer pressure. Okay. On the splash zone, you were saying that should be on the five year goals? Yes. Yeah. I put it as number seven for five years. Oh, uh, the only thing. Should we tell him we passed? Well, this portion of it, we still got to council. Can we, uh, just look, this is just, uh, I don't say upkeep, but to, in the current to redo some of the numbers, like in the social and cultural patterns. Which channel are you looking at? What page? Uh, 10, I believe, of this copy that I have. The, the social and culture, oh, cultural cultural okay. patterns. So I, I reached out. I sent this to our departments, and I'm still waiting to receive their information. Okay. But we're almost done. So to have to have updated numbers. Okay, and then the census uh, was the expected to be released. Yeah. Well, I know on the other page it has the 2020 census, and I was going to say the. That's the latest one. The, here in the population, I don't know if it really matters to us. It says the 2020 county population was estimated to be 2 million plus. Do, do we need to re strike that to change that to 2030 or the current numbers? Estimation. Yeah, to remove estimation to since we're already two years past the census. So change it to 2030? That's what I'm asking to the way this is worded. Yes, please. Yeah. To update that. I know it's nothing. No, it does help the whole metrics of it. And I, I still would like to see us go mixed use eventually one day, if not down Ackerman, down Seguin at one point i mean i know we're limited on space but even those chunks of land on uh ben zingleman that's the city property that we've let people drive through we could do mixed use there patty that gra the grass the back of people's homes that we gave the permission to that they could drive on that city property remember and someone was trying to install a driveway Right, do like a some problem with, with that piece of land setbacks. That makes sense. Yeah. So nothing can really go there. What is a setback there? I yeah, I have to look. I think it's like 50 feet or something major. Mm. It was like halfway through that chunk of land, though, I think. But it's such a nice piece of land. I mean, it, is. it really is. It would be great to have some sort of use for it. Yeah, I would. Okay, that was the only other thing I had really that I would like to see one day kind of utilize. So on, on page 10, we're changing, uh, adding 2030, and then the new numbers are 
Mm -hmm. And then the gentleman over off of Ackerman that they have the they have the landscaping company and they said eventually they would like to move their entire business to Kirby and they said that they are 42 million a year. It's the family right at Ackerman and Ben Zingelman. Across from the fire department. Yes. Uh, Colvin. And they said that they would look into moving their business here and registering their like taxes here for their landscaping company. They said within the next, I think it was like two to five years, they said, if everything went well. Because yeah. they, they're closing down their San Antonio location. And it would be nice if we could get in the five-year plan to have them move here permanently. I told them that, but I don't know if he was just blowing smoke. I don't know. That would be nice. Okay, that's all I got for you today. <laughs> it's been, we haven't had any more uh, traffic counts, have we? Anywhere? Traffic updates? Okay. I hate to hear of that property, that multifamily one on Seguin get denied because of traffic. I mean, if it's six cars, six units on Seguin that you said was denied because of Oh, you said the fire department couldn't get into it? Yeah, yeah there was a, the issue with the getting, them getting in there and out and then, then tra getting out into traffic again because it was yeah. really tight. Um, that comment that you made about the population um, projection for mm -hmm. 2030, mm -hmm. um, there's a population projection on page 8. There's a lot. Population projection on page 8. Mm -hmm. He was just saying that the population counts are now out, so he was saying we could update them. So it's on twenty. Right, but the way this is worded, say, this is for the county, not the city itself. I don't know why this is worded for the county. Uh, it's even in here. Okay. That's the difference. Yeah, there's the city Over the city's population stuff is here on page eight, yes. Yeah. So we want to say this the county ten was for I don't know why the county, county is included. Got it. Okay. I know what I'm, I don't know if this should be included in the five year or one year because I like to see it done sooner than later is to redo the basketball courts at the senior center. Well, well, the resurface or completely redo it to actually have more than just the two goals to and um, have it redone because it's just concrete, but it's not a solid piece of concrete. That to have that area completely re gone over and redone to, to update because that's still, there's a lot of kids and people that go there. It probably would have to be to, but I would like to see it sooner than later myself, but. Yeah, just because it's a five year and you can't be done at one year. Right, I know that, but yeah, I like to. So we make that number eight. Do you ever yeah. go to the ones at Friendship? Hmm? The Do you tennis ever go court. To the ones at Friendship? No, because I can walk to the ones at the senior gotcha. center. That, uh, the tennis court. Yeah, I can walk to the ones at. I don't know. I haven't been to them in years. What? Because I thought they were, there was a plan. I know. I can walk to the one at Friendship. Because I thought there was a plan to read to get rid of the tennis courts and I turn them into a volleyball or something. I thought. The volleyball, yeah, but I, I think I mentioned that would become a big litter box. Well, I, yeah, yeah, but or something. I thought the t they were going to redo the tennis courts or something. I would love for them to. I just had friends this past weekend that were posting all over Facebook trying to find an open tennis court that they could actually play at. Yeah, well, no, I thought they used to turn it into like a basketball or something, something. Yeah, they were thinking about to doing get rid a of the tennis court. court. Yeah, or first, I said a dog what, park, and we said we already have one of those. What came of that? Well, they were going to do the volleyball court, and I said it would be a sandbox or a litter box, and then I think they canned it. Resurface play play areas or play surfaces to include basketball and tennis courts. Yeah. Re re re. At, well, no, because I like it. I would like to have it more specific than just a general myself. Because well, there's only two: it's basketball and tennis. 
right? Well, no, the, the location to have yeah. at, at, the, at the senior center is just yeah. basketball court. And it's a, and the, the tennis courts at the friendship and the friendship has the tennis court and oh, a separate. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. And I think the ones and in the then, basketball courts at friendship are in decent shape. Yeah, because those those, had, those, those had new ones replaced a few years ago. They put yeah. new poles and everything right. up at that one. So maybe do nine have item nine for the tennis courts at friendship. Uh, I kept forgetting to bring that up at other meetings to talk about. Send them to me. I know. I, I, know. I forget. The day just yeah, the, so quick. Uh, last time we were over there, just because if you get multiple people, you got to wait or share to mm -hmm. that there's only two goals and there's enough room for multiple, but it needs to be research. Probably ripped out and put a whole new surf, a continuous one piece surface and then multiple goals and then maybe add you know something else to, like the that disc is golf maybe around the senior center or line it for pickleball or something, something yeah yeah, thinking, yeah there pickleball. we go pickleball would be awesome yeah something like that since we got i know it's open space here but maybe to help for i don't want to say it this way but for that side of kirby to have for the kids that way they don't have to go all the way to the friendship that there's something over over there we say all the way, but it's one mile. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel you. Like when I need to go to the pool, I'm like, it's so far. Well, I just take 10 steps to my pool. So. Right. See, me, the friendship, it's about, <laughs> it's about 300 steps plus a few snakes. And a few, yeah, a few snakes. So. If it's rained, it's a little river. But the Halloween party at the senior center was really nice. I sent my blow up castle, and I mean, I was really impressed at how many people showed up. I mean, Almost a little overwhelming amount, but it was a really good turnout. I feel. I thought it was a good use of the senior center. But then again, I have no other use for it during the day, so I'm not a senior, so I don't. Uh -oh. Pat, uh, just a quick question, Pat. What page? On <laughs> page twenty for the animal shelter. Didn't they add to it? They added a brand new AC unit, uh, HVAC. Right. Oh, they added a whole new section? I thought there was something that there was something that a new little addition or they redid it. Okay. So that information will be coming in from, from Animal Control. Okay. I was just asking if, uh, if we need to reword some of this. To... Under which paragraph? Mm -hmm. Which on paragraph? 20, uh, animal Shelter on page 20 way up in there. Oh. Okay. Improvements have been made since this was okay, we were, so, Yeah, there's just the yeah. So um the, they're gonna be putting all of that stuff together okay. and then it'll be coming forward to y'all and if they don't have it in there then of course we'll, we'll get it out. Well I'm just saying the because I thought there had been some improvements since they since this was probably written and then do in I know they received a new HVAC, like a whole. Right, right. Well, well, it's just the way that the uh, I thought the inside kennels area was redone or something was added to or something. No, no, no. no. Shifted a few things around. Okay. Well, then if not, I mean it's no biggie. Then I just thought they had done or they had redid inside or something. One day. Hmm. One day. Yeah. <laughs> About that multifamilies. <laughs> Gotta start stacking people, Dan, Patty. Go vertical. All right. I was really impressed by Dallas's comprehensive plan. Granted, they're a lot bigger, I get it, but I mean, theirs was really well thought out and their urban so development. Going, I, didn't, I didn't get this in. I sent it so late. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I was getting ready to, and I want to wait to get my, my dinner, and I came back, and my computer was already going into this sleep um, upgrade. No. Oh, update. Oh, you're done. Oh, man. No. 30 minutes, you're out. <laughs> so it's like, dang it, I should have done it right then and there. Mine kept getting stuck. I tried to copy and paste it, and it kept freezing. And then I went back 30 minutes later, and the email was still sitting there, and I finally sent it to you, and was like, oh, man, it was like 4.30, 4.50.
All right. Do you have anything, Julie? Okay. Um, I just updated and um, sent. I'll send these to you. The you know, send it to mm -hmm. us. She just. Mm -hmm. Did you do the minutes too? Mm -mm. Nope, didn't do the minutes. No, so sorry, so sorry. Yeah. Do you know? Well, probably not. <coughs> any uh? If I had the Wi-Fi, I don't say negotiation, but has anything on expansion, redoing boundaries. San Antonio, San Antonio said they were waiting till after COVID because they were dishing out money left and right. Well, that's what I'm saying now that that's over. That I mean, the last time if San Antonio anything has resumed, any talks he, to has resumed because there's the paragraph here and on page 22 about it. Yeah, well, I think that was because that was when that news article went out. No. When it hit the news about the expansion when San Antonio, there was a big article about talks between Kirby and San Antonio possibly rezoning and it was saying something about the I-10 uh, commercial businesses in exchange for like uh, uh, Sunrise. Mm -hmm. And when I talked, yeah, and then when I brought it up to Monique, she said it was actually really not even that, that's not what was really discussed and they kind of twisted the words a little bit. Yeah. And then that was right when we were in the thick of COVID and so right. San no, Antonio no, Sunshine. Just... But I think that that's whenever we were doing the comprehensive plan and mm -hmm. when it got thrown in there because I asked about it at that meeting. Well, that and then that there was a report about Converse too, oh. extending out that they were going to swap with Converse too. But He's like, True no, I'm just curious the, if we need to. If I would love it. Any I, mean, of this or... I mean, I would love that they would give us, but I feel like it's not going to be the easy. I mean, we'd have to increase our police force, right? Is what they had decided. If there's no that it's over, if there's been anything to resume. Okay. Okay. If you hear something, will you let us know? Absolutely. I don't buy it, Patty. <laughs> and you know, I don't check the news. I'm terrible at the news. It's so dude. Once I stopped working for the news, I said never again. It's depressing. Take a look um, I don't know if Sorry. we can. I missed my touch screen. Well, I can wait. Patty, to ask you something about Springfield Road. Go ahead. No, it's not part of the comp. Oh, it has yeah, it has nothing to do with this. Do are we good, or do we want to go ahead and table it to continue? I mean, to I, I inputted what I would like to. I would like whenever you're on Wi-Fi, if I could get a copy of the red lines. I'll send. I'll email it to um, Patty. Yeah, and give me your email. I did. I did have a question though. The gentleman with the bar poorhouse. Would it be possible since he, since no one's taking advantage of that EDC grant money, could he utilize that fifteen hundred dollar poorhouse grant or not poorhouse grant? New business type, small business grant that we have. He, he would have to apply. Right. To go before EDC. But if he did, could he? I don't know his full story. I don't either, so and I don't I, drink, so I'm I not really answer. gonna. Go, I'm not gonna go in there and yeah. find out his full story. But I can't answer that without. I just went his. Patty, that chair looked like it was about to flip. Did you see that? I mean, did you see that? Her whole chair rocked, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" But, um, well, good thing we have know. fire chief here to rescue you. <laughs> but, um, in regards to EDC and. and and I don't have all the um, criteria that has right. to be met to apply. I've looked at it before, and it's not too strenuous. I just feel like no one's taken advantage of it in two years. I feel like that would be a perfect yeah, candidate. Recently, this oh. year, um, okay, who, who used part of it? I mean, do any other changes or items you want to discuss for this meeting on this? Or oh, Julie did really good on this. In, and then we'll have, as the information is coming in from the other departments, uh, I'll send it to y'all in advance. Okay. Well, I'm asking, do we use... Um, I, I would still love to see street art, you know, some of the graphics added into Kirby. I mean, 
that doesn't necessarily need to go in the comprehensive plan, but I feel every time I drive around San Antonio and Dallas, I see so many awesome yeah, we, well, at at uh, request, you can put it as a item for next meeting. To I think I did on one of them, didn't we? One year. Mm -hmm. Well, let's do it again. It doesn't have to be a one-time deal. Did we get the water tower situation fixed? For real, yeah. like truly, could do to um, wait on. Approving it till we get. Put that in his um, public works. They'll put that into there. Have they ever found a new director? Oh, they did. Uh, Frank Salas. Hmm? Have you ever gotten a public He's works? He's been with work? us. <laughs> I'm thinking in September. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any more discussion? For this? Yeah. Okay. So and then we'll table it. We're good to table it for next meeting. Any more discussion? Oh, well, we can just say there's there's no action taken other than the, the change. I would like to table it until next meeting. Yeah. Let's no, I just want to make sure that because I had, I do that we're done for, that I would like to for tonight that we'll wait next meeting to if there's any public input. If we can get word out somehow yeah, for I, that. I really I thought that was a good idea. Just so that way we can see. We gave them the chance. Okay, to... so we'll go ahead and table this till next meeting. This one's, thank you. All right. We'll table it at 7.30. All right, eight a in your request for items for next meeting for announcements. No, I don't. No, okay. Uh, Patty, I was I've been there you take it out to um I don't know if with everything on it to maybe ask Monique about. Wait, are we on item eight, the, uh, yeah, this list. Okay. To find out if to if we could coordinate with San Antonio or what it would take to put sidewalks along Springfield. Because I don't know how that would work since technically they the road is there is in their jurisdiction. To what kind of what it would take to maybe because there's people there's nowhere for people to walk or ride their bikes and it's you get the truck traffic and ever you know it's pretty dangerous when they do that and you got kids of people of all ages to to see if, what could come with that I know it's tight back there in the easement too so I don't but I just don't know how that who we have jurisdiction with something like that to put sidewalks. Yeah, I'll, I'll let them know. On the portion that is in Kirby, do you want to put that on the five year goal? What? Adding sidewalks on Well, no, field? well, no, that's what I was, no, not yet. I just been mean to ask if how, how that would work since our boundary is literally to the edge of the asphalt on of Springfield. Springfield. Yeah. So would that would that be on us or is that on San Antonio since it would be part of the stream? To, to if if it would help to you know we can provide a little funds for that or to you know budget some money to help. I don't know what it would take to who would have jurisdiction over something like that or if we can ask them to do that you know that's pretty dangerous so i just been meaning to bring that up to we can find that out patty do you have a wi-fi password that you could share 
So I can email this to you now? Uh, I don't have a lot of bypass word here. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you. All right. Or, you know what? I'll just hop. I'll put a uh, hot spot. Did, Alex, did you want to, so what did you, the, you were talking about the water plant or something? Whenever the water towers went out, I was just asking if that was ever situated okay. or if we needed to add that into the, not the water pump tower, the, the pumps or whatever, Generator. the generators. Generator so. that's taken care of. No, okay. Well, I don't know. You had said something about the one, like the water, the, like the drainage assessment or something. Oh, I would, the, yeah, I would definitely like that in our one year plan to do. I, I would like to do a session okay. with city council. No, no, right. No, I thought you had. Some, there was something else you had asked about or made a comment that we had brought up at a previous meeting. I think it was that had anyone addressed the drainage study with the with the street assessment and compared them before we started doing road work, I think is what I said. And she yeah. said, that's what we're counting on us for. And so I said, I think we should do a workshop between us and city council this year, this coming year, okay. maybe like in March to address what roads I think we should Okay. We're gone next. Okay. As far as okay. drainage goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And if we could utilize the funds from COVID for drainage. Okay. We receive that nine hundred thousand. Yeah. But, but nothing for sure for next meeting then. No. Okay. Then. She's sending out an email to you guys from Dallas comprehensive plan that I sent to her. And right, right. Yeah, no, be, I just, yeah. Other I, than that, I would just like us to readjust comprehensive plan next semester, next session. Okay. This. I was say, why wouldn't they? You think they won't go through with it, or? No, it, it depends on if they submit the information in time for me to advertise it and get it. it out to all the residents. Well, 200 residents, right. not all. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that do you know offhand which property it would be? Mm -hmm. I don't remember it. It was a discussion over the phone. Okay, because if. If it's the corner lot. Oh, no, not Springfield. Uh, well, the one on Springfield, it's somewhere in the middle. Okay. But the resident, it, it was a, a conversation over the phone. Yeah, no, I, no, I was talking about the Springfield one. If you, it's one of them in the middle. In the middle, okay. Because yeah. if it's so the one that, okay, if it's the corner with John, then no, we're kind of screwed. Okay. Okay, so and then I'll go ahead and meeting adjourned at 737. Wait, what's your email what's address? 737. I forgot my phone at home. What's your oh. email address? Oh, I don't know what time it is. Evening. Oh. I don't have either of mine.